So it starts out with actually, um, and it's a real simple recipe, make the large batch, a pound of butter. So we let the butter soften at room temperature. So we pulled it out of the fridge, just let, let it sit on the counter for a few hours or even like the night before, you can pull it out and just let it sit on your counter. It's just easier to work with that way. So four sticks of butter. This is the season for a lot of butter, right? Plan on playing a lot of tennis this holiday season to work off that butter. Okay. See a lot of people's holiday decorations going up. So nice to see when you drive by the houses and you see all the, the Christmas tree up with the lights. Really fun. Okay. See my house this year. Your house is all decked out, Ann? Oh, unbelievable. Oh, really? That little, those butter wrappers just did not want to come out, did they? Okay, so now we have a pound of brown sugar. I'm going to start creaming that together first, the butter and the brown sugar. We're also making today, and we've got it in the oven right now, a couple of great beef roasts. Tis the season for those holiday roasts. So how do you do a really nice roast? We've got some tips. Okay, so now we're going to add in here one quart of vanilla ice cream. Whatever's on sale, doesn't really matter. I happen to like the kind that's really, uh, some of those ice creams though, all ice creams are not created equal. Uh, so I really do like to look at the back and go for the ones that basically this one's got, uh, what is it, milk, sugar, corn syrup, cream. You know, pretty simple, pretty natural. And we want to let that soften. So you also want to pull that out of the freezer for at least 15, 20 minutes or so. All right, now I'm going to continue to mix this up. Tis the season also for lots and lots of holiday book signings, so I really hope you'll come out and join me. Headed to Nina to Cedar Ridge Crafts from 4.30 to 6 on Wednesday. And then I have a bunch of signings this weekend. Starts Friday, I'll be up in Sturgeon Bay at the Ocano Foods. Saturday, I'm at the Pig and Crivet. Saturday morning, they've got a big holiday open house. I'm also in New London. Saturday afternoon, lots of places, so track me down. All of the festival, lots of different festival foods I'll be at through the holiday season. So come on out and say hi, I love seeing you. And hearing about all your great recipes too. Okay, so in goes now a pound of powdered sugar. I told you this made a big back, batch, I should say. A tablespoon of cinnamon. Leave a little extra for the top. And two teaspoons of nutmeg. I'm gonna do the fresh nutmeg, which I just take a, a microplane and take a whole nutmeg. Oh, that smells like the holidays. You could also just use the, you know, the pre-ground nutmeg. Okay. Mm. You know, there's some smells that just say, yeah, Christmas, and that's one of them. So this is it, this is the recipe. And you wanna mix this really well and get it in a nice big container and just keep it in your freezer. And it's gonna last for a good month or so, even longer if you've really got it covered up well. I like to not just you know, only put it into a you know, freezer container, but also do a nice layer of plastic or app before you put the lid on, just to make sure I don't want it to pick up any of the odors from the freezer. So you mix this until it's nice and smooth. 
again and get it into a freezer container. And I've got some, and this, now I'm going to show you how you serve it. You basically put a kettle on to boil or just a pot of boiling water. We've got some already in the freezer. So come back with me. So you basically take some nice mugs, and now they have all these great holiday mugs. And you take a couple of tablespoons of your batter. These happen to be big mugs, so we'll do maybe three tablespoons of the batter. And then, optional, you don't have to, but if you're going to use rum, you want to use a spiced rum. You could also just do these non-alcoholic, but about two ounces, shot or so. Then we take some nice boiling water, add that to our mug. This is one of those great sipping drinks that you do by the fire, very festive. And then that batter dissolves in the hot water. And then I like to decorate them up. I'm making a big mess here. Anne's giving me that look. So then you basically garnish it up with different fun little garnishes. I like to do some fresh whipped cream on top. Maybe a little more nutmeg or cinnamon. A cinnamon stick in here is always pretty, very festive. And there you go.